with so many graphics cards to choose from, it seems more difficult than ever to pick the right GPU right now. And if that wasn't enough, Nvidia is launching a whole new series of GPUs, the RTX 4090, the 4080 and soon also the RTX 4070 Ti launching on January 5th. AMD is not sleeping and they are launching the RX 7000 and the 7900 XT and the XTX launching on December 13th. And if that wasn't enough, Intel is also launching a couple of GPUs and I was actually excited to try out their cheapest GPU, the A380. And this is actually a pretty decent GPU with RTX 3050 level performance, but I wouldn't recommend buying one as Drivers still need more optimization and so on. love. But anyway, in my opinion, it is more difficult than ever to pick the right GPU. Now, the majority of you guys are probably looking to spend about $500, probably a lot less than that. And there is where I'm going to focus most of my time. But I'm going to give you recommendations on even higher end GPUs as well. Anyway, let's take a look at the market and see what the prices are right now. So as we can see right now, the RX 6600 can be picked up from $216 or more. The 3050 is selling for $270 and that is actually 4% lower than the lowest in November. Uh, overall, as we can see, the 3050 actually went down by about 4%. The 3060 went down by 5% and the rest of the GPUs actually went up compared to previous months. This might look a little bit different if you are taking a look at this video by the end of December, but as it looks right now, the lowest you can pick up an RX 6600 is $216, and that is actually 40% higher than uh, November's lowest price. Overall, it is still 30% lower than launch MSRP. The 6650 XT is still 33% lower than it's launch MSRP. The 6700 XT is now selling for 20% lower than its launch MSRP. Unfortunately, it went up by 3% compared to previous months. So let's go ahead and take a look at the lower end GPUs and the best budget GPU pick at 10B Gaming. Now, if you are looking to spend as little as possible, I would actually recommend you looking at the used market for something like an RTX. 1650 super which you are going to be able to pick up for around 150 dollars now this is easily a much better deal than picking up an rx 6500 xt which right now the cheapest one you can find is around 170 dollars and this is an awful price given the performance and lack of features now if you for some reason have a small compact pc you'll be happy to hear that you can actually pick up the rx 6400 xt low profile for around the same price point as the 60 1650 super just keep in mind that 1650 super is actually faster so you should only pick the 6400 if you don't have enough space in your PC. Once again, if we take a look at the GPU market right now, we see that the cheapest 1080p GPU I would recommend starts at around $200. Now, I recommend getting at least an RX 6600 or an RTX 3050 to fully enjoy 1080p gaming. Now, both of these GPUs will allow you to game at 1080p pretty much maxed out and still enjoy 60 FPS. Now, once again, the, the RX 6600 can be picked up for $216, but the RX 6650 XT can be had for as low as $250 with something called in-mail rebate. Now, if you don't want to deal with that, you can still pick this up for $270. And, and this is, in my opinion, the best GPU deal you can make right now. Especially consider how much you're gonna have to spend in order to get a similar level of performance from Team Green. Now, for example, the RTX 3050 is selling for $200. The lowest we can find is selling for $270. And this is even higher than its initial launch price. And if you got about $270 to $280 to spend, it's a a terrible deal versus the RX 6650 XT. Now if you must have an Nvidia GPU and you're looking to spend around $280 I would definitely have a look at the used market as right now it is definitely it is super hard to recommend the RTX 3050. But what about upscaling technology? Nvidia is 
currently slightly ahead of AMD in this department, although I would say it is not that much and certainly not worth the extra money. Also, when you are gaming at 1080p, I wouldn't recommend activating DLSS or FSR anyway. Ray tracing is a similar story. Again, Nvidia is the better pick here in terms of performance across the board, but to my knowledge, most of you still consider ray tracing to be more of a gimmick than something you need to have. And quite frankly, when you are spending about $200 on a GPU, you're probably not looking to activate something like ray tracing, which is definitely going to have a massive hit on the performance. So once again, if you are looking to spend about $200 to $250, you either get the RX 6600 or the 6650 XT. And right now it is hard to justify the RTX 3050. Now another question you might have is, maybe you should perhaps wait for uh, the lower end RTX 4000 series GPUs. Now, unfortunately, it can take a long time before we start seeing uh, lower end 4000 series GPUs enter the market, such as the RTX 4060 and the 4070. And the same goes for AMD. It is probably going to take at least a couple of months before we even start seeing, seeing leaks and such of these lower end graphics cards. Right now, both AMD and Nvidia are launching a 4K and even 8K GPUs and they are going to try and sell as many of these before they start introducing lower end GPUs to the market. So the short answer is if you're not planning to spend in the $1,000 range for then there's probably nothing that you should wait for right now. And what if you are looking to be spending up to $300 once again, the RX 6650 XT would be my recommendation. Now, if we are looking past the $300 range, the RX 3060 starts at $350 to $370 price range. Now, for that money, you can also have the RX 6700 XT, which actually crushes the 3060 in basically any game. AMD also have the RX 6750 XT, which offers slightly better performance compared to the 6700 XT, but currently this GPU costs about $100 more, so it's not really worth it in my opinion. The next GPU from Nvidia would be the RTX 3060 Ti, which currently comes in just shy of $400. And this should be the real competitor to the RX 6700 XT. So once again, Nvidia is stronger when it comes to ray tracing and upscaling. So if you feel like it is worth spending about $50 to $70 more for those kind of features, then the RTX 3060 Ti could actually be an option. However, once again, in terms of performance, uh, price to performance, the RX 6700 XT is still the better pick. If we look beyond these GPUs, we are looking at the $500 range. And for Team Red, we have the RX 6800 now selling for around $500. Now the closest competitor from Team Green is definitely not the 3060 Ti, but the RTX 3070. As we can see, the cheapest RTX 3070 is selling for $500. Now comparing the two shows that the 6800 is faster across the board. And once again, you should only consider the RTX 3070 if you know for a fact that you need Nvidia hardware for a specific workload, let's say professional work or a uh, I don't know, similar. But again, the video is focusing on the best price to performance perspective through a gamer. And AMD is, <laughs> yeah, once again, the better pick at this price level. Now, beside these two GPUs, you're gonna have to spend a significant price premium for both the 6800 XT and the RTX 3080 compared to previous months. So actually, I wouldn't be spending more than $500 on a GPU in December as the prices are right now. Now this might change a bit as we're getting closer to Christmas Eve. I'm gonna make sure to update the video description with the latest and best uh, GPU deals you can find right now, even 
at the higher end market. Now, if you are looking to build a complete 1080 or a 4040p gaming PC build right now, I definitely got you covered with a high airflow PC featuring the 6650 XT I put together a couple of months ago. You'll find that video linked up down below with plenty of benchmarks and I also decided to include the whole building process. 